Hey, what's going on YouTube? Thought I'd make a real quick video on making a solar rack system for the top of my cargo trailer. And let me tell you first why I'm doing this. So I've got Renogy solar panels and the Renogy brackets that came with it. And uh, I've got three 100 watt panels. Each has four brackets and each bracket has uh, two spots for bolts uh, or screws. So that's a total of 24 screws in the roof of my trailer. Now, I followed Renogy's instructions and all the instructions that's out on, the, on YouTube and on the internet, and I went ahead and put them up like that. I put in the butyl tape, and then I put the brackets down, and then the screws had the rubber grommets on them, and then I put the self-leveling die core all over everything. I probably used way too much. And uh, so I had 24 screw holes in the roof, and one of them ended up leaking. Um, my guess is that because I couldn't grab studs on all of the brackets, the butyl tape didn't get pressed down good enough, um, and I had a leak. So if you think about this, if I was in school and I had a test with 24 questions, and I got 23 out of 24, I'd still get an A, and that'd be a great job. However, in this situation, 23 out of 24 equals failure and a leaky roof. So what I did was I tore all the solar panels off the roof, cleaned it up really well, patched the holes, and then I coated the roof with a waterproof coating. Let me grab that real quick, if I can find it. So here's what I put on the roof. It's this black jack, white, siliconized, elastomeric roof coating. It's the Elastocool 1000 by Blackjack. It's got a 10-year warranty against leaks. And this is also supposed to help the trailer be cooler in the summer. I think they set up to like 10 or 12 degrees cooler is what um, people have been getting which is going to help my air conditioning situation out a lot. But uh, so basically I, I put that over the roof, put two coats on. It had to be perfect weather for like 24 hours. I picked a day that was perfect. I coated it. I let it dry for two days. I put a second coat on and uh, it looks really good. And I think it's going to hold up and I'll let you guys know. But uh, so what I've got going on today is a roof rack for the solar panels. Now I had my cousin over at Imagine Metals um, make these brackets for me. Two inches by four inches and then two inches by two inches and then he went ahead and, and put a square hole in it for me and then I went ahead and drilled these to put myself tappers in and then that's gonna sit, I've got four of these and they're gonna sit on the roof and then I've got carriage bolts that's gonna come up under here and I had some fence posts laying around and I decided to just go ahead and cut the chain link fence post. It's galvanized. I cut that to the size, the width of the trailer and um, I went ahead and painted that. Even though it's galvanized it might rust so I went ahead and painted it and uh, painted it white and I'm going to mount the solar panels on these two poles. I can hear my daughter in the background. But I'm going to mount them on the two poles and then we're going to put them up on the roof of the trailer and hook it all in. And that way I've got a, a lot better system. wish I would have done this this way in the first place. Um, but you live and learn, I guess. Do it right the first time. So uh, stick with me and I'll show you what, it, what it's going to look like here when we're done.
go see if it's charging. It's kind of dark in here. Uh huh. Here you can see it just started to charge. We're getting 13 volts right now on a MPPT charge cycle. Even though the sun is pretty much set and behind clouds, still getting sun and getting solar power. It's pretty cool. I want to thank you for watching the channel today. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and list your comments below, and I'll be sure to respond. Thank you very much.